Obviously to tame any one of these big arenas is uh, very important because clearly the words are very important in this. Well, this is the first time we've actually put the band and the singers together. We know how the band sound, we know how the singers sound, but when you put them together and you see the whole production, it starts to make sense. What we're doing today with testing various different types of microphones. The big thing for us was microphone headset choice. On a theatre production, the room sounds lovely. And in an arena, the back wall's a long way away. And the distance for the sound to travel to that back wall and then return means that you have to monitor people differently. Get them out for the lads. T-shirt, please. T-shirt. What's the bus? Tell me what's happening. What's the bus? Tell me what's happening. What's the bus? Tell me what's happening. What's the bus? How are you doing that, Seamus? I'm good. Can I have a shout, please? Yeah! Yes. I think you have to tweak me. I'm small. That's a lot of voice for a small lady. Vocally, I think Jesus Christ Superstar as a musical is probably one of the hardest challenges for any cast. It's a rock opera, which means we've got to be rocky, we've got to sound a little bit raw in moments, we've got to make it sound emotional and, you know, a little bit less placed. And that almost, in a way, requires more technique. Then I was inspired. Now I'm sad. I think Gethsemane really uh, is probably one of the hardest personal moments, um, just because everything's in play there. Um, I'm thinking about so much. I'm actually having a conversation with God, you know, a, a conversation that actually happened between Jesus and God would probably be one of the most important conversations ever to have happened, and I've got to make that relevant to the audience. I've got to make them believe it. important for me and Lawrence um, that I found a new way to explore that song and a new way to look at it. With Andrew Lloyd Webber's work there's no spoken dialogue all of the acting is through song and I thought yeah I can do that I can tell a story when I'm singing and working with our great director and associate director, Nick, it really, you know, has brought home to me how difficult that is because as a singer, I think you're very much concerned with the sound, making a very beautiful sound. But what's so important in this piece and a lot of Angelo Dove's work is that you have to get your emotion across no matter what melody you're singing. And it's a, it's a big challenge and it's a big learning curve for me. It seems to me a strange thing, mystifying that a man like you should waste his time on women of her kind. Although I've wanted to play this for years and years, yes, I, I was incredibly nervous about my voice because it is right at the top of anyone's range really but certainly mine so I'm really looking forward to it. It's great fun having sort of license to sing that high rocky range I've always enjoyed doing but always been wary of but these singing coaches have gone that's fine just breathe do it and it's been great it's been like being let off the leash a bit. I know you can't hear me but I only did what you wanted me to. Christ I'd sell out the nation for I have been saddled with the murder of you. I have been saddled I will never, ever know. I think it's important that we have sympathy for Judas. It's vital to the piece so that we're torn. He genuinely cares about this movement. He and Jesus were the leaders of a movement who were dedicated to love and equality and helping the poor and stuff. We need to believe that we love each other despite the fact that our relationship is breaking completely. <laughs>